You should have kept a secret. Please don't keep no secret. Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about Shade Protocol and Secret Network. And I see on Twitter and in Telegram, especially people that really enjoy Shade Protocol, once in a while people recommend that Shade does their own L1. And I'm going to talk about why I think Shade Protocol needs Secret Network in order to survive and why the best dApps out there should be Layer 2s. So with a layer one, like Secret Network, people often forget about the amount of money it takes, the amount of money and time it takes to secure the network. Blockchain is all about decentralization. You need a lot of validators. You need a lot of nodes in order to decentralize the network and create an atmosphere where there's not a central party controlling everything. That's the ethos of blockchain technology. For Secret Network, we have over 70 validators. A lot of people have bespoke hardware. Some people are using cloud-based solutions that all contribute to securing the network and creating this semblance of privacy. We use Intel SGX. We have certain enclaves which protect user data, provide private computations. And Secret Network is unique in this sense. We've been out for... We've been live for over three years. We're the first to ever do it. We're doing it the best. We're probably the most underappreciated, undervalued blockchain in the whole crypto ecosystem. So with a great project like Secret, like Shade Protocol, which is a DeFi protocol, it's not necessarily that, the, first of all, the platform is very clean, but it's not necessarily that it's a unique proposition. DeFi has been around for quite some time. There are a lot of DeFi applications on Ethereum and various other blockchains. But the thing that differentiates, the differentiator for Shade Protocol is the idea that you're using private DeFi. You won't be able to accomplish this on any other network. This is why Shade Protocol going to another L1 that's not private, it would just be another DeFi application. The differentiating factor the number one value that Shade offers is private DeFi, which hasn't been done before. So people need to recognize that this is only going to be accomplished on Secret Network, and it's being accomplished very well. So Shade Protocol needs Secret in order to survive. And also, this is also extremely bullish moving forward because Shade, Secret Network is still very small for market cap-wise. We're about a $100 million market cap. But when we fly, we're going to fly. And Shade Protocol is considered a micro cap. And I consider, Shade, uh, I, I consider Secret Network a micro cap as well. So the chances of exponentially increasing market cap value, increasing your bags, is, is like the sky is the limit. And if we reach that plateau, if we reach the audience, if people start understanding the value proposition that we're pushing forward, and I feel as though the consistency in continuously pushing, continuously making applications, and continuously integrating the latest technology in order to I improve the protocol continues to happen, I feel like the sky is the limit. So Shade Protocol is going to moon. Secret Network is going to moon. Not sure when, but you we can't be ignored for forever. And great projects exist on Secret Network that are unique because of our private computation layer. And there's no one else that does it. And we've been doing it for the longest. So if other people come into the network, in into the, the privacy space or the private computation space, we've been doing it for longer. We're more battle tested. We've improved our technology 10 hundred fold and we're continuing to grow. So I am looking forward to what Shade Protocol, I'm looking forward to what Shade Protocol provides in the future and I'm also looking forward to how that complements Secret Network. And uh, the validator is Secret Santa and let me know if you have any questions. Do you use Shade Protocol? And until the next video, thank you.